But Stanley, what is the percentage for a few dollars to cut off our nose and bite our face? When I say no, I mean no. There have been a few people in this town who have found that out. But the girl must All have right. it. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Wait a minute. What did Smiley whisper into that phony tin trumpet? You tell him, Smiley. Take she's still at the bar, being entertained by a friend of mine. If anything happens to her... You're selling fish four days old, Kitty. She's with Marty Ritz. Is he a conspirator, too? Why not? For all I know, why couldn't you have some kind of blackmail on Marty, too? We're talking about murder. Your client has to learn how to talk. We know who the expert is when it comes to murder. Stanley, please. A boy like you, who are you? Who are you? Are you some kind of special aristocracy because the, the female public wants to make love with you? Who are you with your dirty, unmanicured fingernails? And what? What are you without Hot Federator behind you? I built the studio. I, I, with my brain and my hand, I ripped it out of the world. With my brains and my hands, and who are you? No, this must stop. Oh, do I have to listen to this miserable boy? A man like myself who's wined and dined with presidents and kings. Oh, my aching back. Do I have to cater to this? More line of your phony senatorial eloquence and boy. Boy, I'll chalk you down like firewood. It is a bit of miserable pity to have to talk to you. That's it. That's the deal. Charlie, I beg of you, please. We never have to talk to each other again. Matt, you're my agent. From now on, it's you and him. I never have to talk to him again. You'll drive me too far. Oh, will I? What's your boiling point, Uncle Huff? Oh, don't suck. Don't act bored. And please don't cry. Charlie, I beg of you, please. I'm deliberately tampering with your modest ego, Stanley, because today I see what Stanley Schreiner Hoff would do to protect an investment. Murder. This man buries himself with his mouth. Look at him. Get his act. He's trying to play the crocodile, and what is he, a little <laughs> lizard under a rock? Smiley, if you get together with the legal department in the morning, you comb through the castle contract, and you find me an opening, you find me a pay. Stanley. I think there's one other solution. Oh, yes, here it comes, the gimmick, the twist, the old switcheroo. There's always a twist, sweetie. They always work in pairs. There's an angle to this Dixie problem. Marin, it depends upon you. What? You and Charlie have been separated three times in the last two years. Do you love him enough to make a sacrifice? Do I love him? Well, let him finish, dear. Dixie would marry Charlie in a minute. It'd be the fulfillment of all her dreams. Community property laws automatically take care of you. Half of everything Charlie owns belongs to you. Gentlemen, I can't believe my ears. Let him finish. Before you jump in where it doesn't concern you, Nat. This woman has been having to do with a writer we had on the lot recently. That isn't true. From time to time, they had relations. That just isn't true. Let me handle this. Of course, you have proof. Records. You have records of conversations I've had with Mr. Teagle in his office. And tape recordings in his office and on his couch. Who ordered such recordings to be made? I couldn't say. That's out of my hands. Where are they? In my car. Get them. Get them, Smiley. Get them. Live and let live has always been an important motto with me, Marianne Castle. I have nothing against you personally, you understand. But sometimes, for the good of the company, I'm forced to play a little rough. Nat, a little sparkling water. All right. All right! My career is finished, and I'm willing Namely, because you're the meanest, dirtiest scout that God ever put breath into. And this is Mr. Hoff, a man that I fall down on my knees and thank my maker that I don't have to play ball with him anymore. <laughs> Excuse me, Charlie, dear, that I'm crying. <laughs> don't worry, Mary. Don't worry, Charlie. Before I'll get you in trouble, I'll put my own head on the railroad track. <laughs>
Nothing to defend about those records. It's late. Don't you boys ever go home to dinner? Do that. Do that for me, Smiley. Take off home. Get him out of here. <laughs> Stay! Oh, you're so lucky. But if this were a movie, you'd have been on the floor ten times. the law do it for me. I'll let the law do it for me this time. And you lose everything. You lose everything. This is the scandal and a disaster and a ruin. The dead child's family and the insurance company will take everything off your back in any court in the land. Close off your back, off your child's and off that woman's. Everything goes, child. Everything goes. The house goes. The paintings go. And you, oh, you go. Oh, no, child. Oh, no. You threw away a kingdom today. Everything goes, child. Everything goes. The house goes. The paintings go. And you. Oh. Oh, no. You threw away a 